The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Here we are at the border of York and Asia, just outside Yekaterinburg. Um, we've got a beautiful bottle here of uh, local Russian champagne, it's supposed to be quite expensive. Um, but on current experience of uh, Russian white and Russian red, this is the best place for the bottle. It's been hung from the tree. So I'm wondering whether um, the champagne was tipped out and the bottle was put there, or whether people actually drank the stuff. I'm not sure. I've um, poured out one bottle of red, and fortunately only poured out one glass of wine. Uh, maybe a language thing that I haven't chosen the right one. Maybe a quality thing. Perhaps the Russians don't like the style of wine that I enjoy. So um, we're on the train to Moscow from Ekaterinburg now. We've had a roller coaster a couple of days in Ekaterinburg. We got into Ekaterinburg in the evening. We walked across the station to our um, hotel, which was in the appropriate place for ease of access. We got in there, there's a bit of building work going on some issues of registration in Russia which were encountered made us all a bit anxious, put us a bit on edge because we were already a bit nervous about the Soviet style hotel which had changed its name since we had booked it. And um, anyway, so we checked in, the rooms are pretty spartan, non-smoking floor at the top. Well, not too sure about it. Anyway, we're heading out because we're hungry and that's what it's all about. So. Um, we had a place in mind. The um, receptionist had also mentioned a place. It was a very interesting experience. Uh, the place had what looked on the menu to be a pasta and pizza option. So I picked their signature dish, the Big Mama <laughs> Pizza. That was a mistake. <laughs> I've forgotten it was a signature dish. Yes. <laughs> and you're a great dish picker, for dessert at least, but anyway. It only consists of literally loads of capsicum, small amount of cheese, and negligible amounts of chicken. I'm not really a great fan of capsicum. It had a resemblance to chicken, and I was ravenously hungry, so I yeah. ate it. All of it? All of it. Amazing. Um, well, I was really hungry. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately... I don't know how you did that. Yes, well... I did need something afterwards, though, to get the taste of that pizza out of my mouth. Yeah, well, we thought of that. Tell me, like, I had the same feeling a couple of days prior to that, when my meal just let me down so badly, that you just had to leave, didn't you? You needed to get out of there. Yes. Did you feel the same? I got the impression that you felt the same. I was, feel, you know, I was I feeling for it. I really didn't want to stay for dessert. Your pizza experience was so was equally bad as my uh, my terrible experience a couple of days before that I'm I'm proud to be wearing <laughs> your shirt today. I'm glad you like it. I'm proud to be wearing it. I'm not sure um, I'll keep it on for much longer because um, it might eat me. So we got the hell out of there and made our way back to the hotel. 
where this beacon shone at us. Alcohol. It'd be the only way to get through the night, or so I thought. We went in, and the promised land was there. We looked over the mountaintop and we saw the promised land. Toke was on the menu. Alleluia. We have been to the promised land. And tonight, we will toast the downs of the last 48 hours with mine and the Metasaurus' favourite after-dinner drink. I'm looking forward to it. So, um, we got some toke, we got some wine. The Metasaurus found some pate, had some bickies with it. I needed to do a bit of interneting, check my emails down in the lobby. It was still light at about one o'clock in the morning and then went to bed. Every time I lay down, I was wheezing. It was terrible, I couldn't get to sleep. It was about 3.30 in the morning and I went downstairs and asked to change room. I wanted a better room. She had no power to put me in a better room. So for spite, or that's what it felt like, but I'm sure it wasn't, she showed me the better room. But if it was an instant lung cancer room, that was it. The smoke coming from it was, but it would have done British American tobacco proud. Their shares would have gone up if they'd smelt the, sm the smell from that room. So we found another room. It was four in the morning now. And I moved all my gear, got two hours sleep, and then woke up with an empty stomach, pretty tired, looking towards breakfast. Bring it on. So let's try the Frosties looking cereal to get the taste of the gel-like eggs out of the way. No, the cereal was stale. Okay, let's try bread and jam. The bread was stale. No toasting facility available. What about some juice? It was a cranberry, which for me gives me explosive diarrhea. So I threw a tanty. I was miserable. The person who bore the brunt of it was the one who booked the hotel. It was a left hook, a right hook, and a punch right on the nose. I'm out of here. We're leaving. We're going. It's time to live it up. It's time to be on holiday. Let's five star it. Let's blow some cash. Dig deep into the reserves, but I need it big time. We need good food. We need veggie happy. We need Medosaurus happy. And that's what we did.